Next, we're going to take a look at the formatting of dimensions. On the screen, you see I have three orthographic views, the front, top, and right-hand side view for the wedge. You also notice I have an isometric view, and all of the views are displaying the hidden line type. You'll also note that I have many driving dimensions, along with a handful of driven dimensions. Now what we're going to look at is how do we format these dimensions? The formatting applies to both driving and driven dimensions. So let's get started. Let's zoom up on this 1.90 dimension, and we'll select the dimension. The property manager opens for this dimension, and notice, like we talked about before, we have the availability of a tolerance. So let's try this out. Instead of having none for tolerance, let's select bilateral. Bilateral is plus minus. I am going to enter a value of plus five thousandths minus zero. In order for this to display and not round off, I need to change the precision to three places. I'll go ahead and close out of the property manager and then move this dimension out a little bit so it displays correctly and it's not on top of the view. I select another dimension and we scroll down the property manager. I want to show you that we can add other symbols. In fact, we have all of our common drafting symbols here. Diameter. And notice the output on the screen. Degrees. Plus, minus, center line, and more. Now notice we do have a more button. There's a lot of information here. You have your lay symbols. Weld symbols. Scroll down. We have different flags. We have circular flags. Square flags. All with numbers. And alphabet. We have flags, which are triangular in shape. And then we have a lot of the GD&T symbols. We have whole symbols. So you can see, pretty much any symbol you're looking for, you're most likely going to find it in this dialog box. Right below this, and at the very bottom of the property manager, we have dual dimensioning. Now let me go ahead and delete what I placed in this earlier. So it returns it to 1.12. Let's make this a dual dimension. I am going to uncheck this. And one last thing before we conclude this lesson, you may have noticed this little graphic pop up as we were moving dimensions in the earlier lessons. But if I select a dimension, notice we have this little graphic pop up here. This is for the dimension pellet. Very handy feature. When you move your cursor above it, notice this window appears. This allows you to change the tolerance type. It allows you to change the precision. Add prefixes suffixes, make the dimension a reference dimension, an inspection dimension, and so on. So this is a fairly handy window that once you use it a few times, you will find yourself using it on a regular basis. So one thing that you should know about formatting of dimensions, if there is a certain type of format you need, it is available. It's just a matter of getting into the property manager, moving through the different windows, and finding that option.